Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. My name is Lee, back again with another look at a feature in Microsoft Word. Today we're going to be taking a look at using columns in your Word document and how this could be especially useful when you are formatting your document, when you have uh, repeating information, a list for example, things like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start off this example with a blank document. And for today's example, we're going to do states in the U.S. And we're just going to have them you know, listed out into different columns. So the first step, we'll want to navigate to the layout tab within our ribbon. And then once we're there, we can see the columns button here. And this is where we can insert our columns. But before we do that, if we have any content that we don't want to be a part of the columns, we'll want to you know, tell the document that we don't want this included. We want to break up the content within our document. So we will first navigate to the breaks drop down here, and then we're going to select continuous. So all the content up here will stay the same, but everything below that will be another section of content, if you will. Um, it will follow a continuous pattern. And if you want to see how that is displayed, on your document, you would navigate to the Home tab in your ribbon, and you'll select this little paragraph icon, and that will show you um, any indents, um, spaces. It would also show you, of course, here, section breaks within your document. So that's important as you're kind of reviewing your formatting and getting everything situated. So once we have our title separate from the content we want to place within our document, let's go ahead and place in our list of US states. So we'll go ahead and do a paste here. We already have our list of states copied to our clipboard, so we'll go ahead and paste those to the document. And now we have all of our US states. So let's go ahead and place them into columns. So we'll navigate to the Layout tab in our ribbon, and then select the Columns option under Page Setup. And if we already know that we want three columns, we can go ahead and select that as one of the, the defaults in our list. And as you can see, all the US states have then been populated in our document. Again, each example can vary, so you can still determine how many columns you want your text to be displayed in. Yeah, we can navigate back to the column button. We can select two columns if we just want it displayed into two, or back into one. And if you want even more columns, you can navigate to the columns button, and then down to the more columns option. And then from here, you can select the columns, number of columns. So if you would like five, uh, you can even go up to 10 or more. And you can also determine the uh, spacing and width of your columns. So if you'd like more space in between your columns, you can do that here. Have a little bit more play over how you want your columns displayed, things like that. Now this, of course, can work with any text you have within your document. So let's go ahead and add those three columns back in. And let's just see what it looks like if we had some uh, random text or filler. And we can achieve that by putting the equal sign, R-A-N-D, open parentheses, and then a number of how many sections of random text we'd like within our document. So let's just say three, and then closing parentheses, and press the Enter key. So it added in some random text, but we can kind of see what it looks like as it is in the column format. So as you're formatting, and again, everyone's situation is different, goes to show what it would look like in this format. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to like the video and show your support. And while you like the video, also go down and click that subscribe button and subscribe to our channel if you're not already. We upload educational videos and tutorials like this every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so do not want to miss out on that. And I also invite you to visit www.tcworkshop.com and reach out to us to, to help you advance your career, find the training solution you need. We specialize in topics such as data analytics, cybersecurity, cloud computing, office products, and much, much more. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope to catch everyone in the next video.